is up guys, Rhythm Rider back again with another epic adventure. I got my boy, Freakography right there. Guys, right behind me is in a mostly abandoned insane asylum built in the late 1800s, I think 1887. This is the administration building. It's active, it's now a hotel. They do tours in parts of it, but anyways guys, all down that way is abandoned. Over there, partially active, but mostly abandoned. So our plan is we're gonna urbex the shit out of the city. <laughs> then, under the cover of darkness, we're gonna sleep in, or sl slip in, and have a sleepover inside the asylum. So, without further ado, oh wait, that's yours. All right, guys, so <laughs> let's check it out. Look at this. Wheelchairs everywhere. There's gonna be a lot of cuts in this video and we gotta be quiet. But look at this. This place opened in the late 1800s. It is now in the process of being redeveloped there is active security outside guys so we got to be very careful look at this You guys want to see something epic? Look. A classroom inside an insane asylum. If this is not epic, guys, I don't know what is. And look at another wheelchair. And look over here. Another decaying classroom, guys. Look at this, guys. This is like a day room. So they come and do activities here and relax when they're outside of their rooms. But look at this. It's just completely filled with old asylum chairs. No pun intended, of course. Let me get some extra light. Guys, last night we were in here, we couldn't even put light on because it would give us away. Look at this. So guys, look at this corridor. Got a wheelchair and all these patient seats, just chairs. You know, they'd be in their, uh, just around the hallways, in activity rooms and stuff like that, just for play patients to use. These cages were over the radiators, probably so the patients couldn't burn themselves. And then look at this room. Guys, the paint peel is so epic in here. Everything about this is so epic. Like, look at how big the friggin' high the ceilings are. Look at this chair. It's like a wheelie lounger. That's probably where staff would sit because they close that bottom part and they can still talk to the patients. Oh, look at 
this chair. Creep level through the ceiling. Wow. You see, this is how those radiators would be covered. Just big, massive rooms. Oh, look at these chairs. Super creepy. And guys, like what the hell is this? There's some like weird device with a hook in the middle. I don't know what that is. Look at this room. Look at this room, guys. It's all asylum chairs, but they're all recliners, and they can all be rolled. Wow. Guys, I apologize for this video being choppy, but it's super sketchy. We gotta be very careful. And like, look at this. Room after room full of chairs. Then you got a fireplace over there, down that corridor to the left, or right. That's where you went with all the other chairs. And I'll show you guys outside. So this is where the patients could go out. But as you can see, it's all caged in, so no one jumps or throws each other off or anything, or escapes. So guys, it's like 8.30 in the morning. We spent the night here. We snuck in at, I don't know, like 11, 10, 11 o'clock at night. Walked around, do you wanna see where we are? Look at this. I gotta be careful, but where that green roof is, over there, we slept in that corridor, and all of this is an abandoned asylum. This would have been like a dining area. The reason I know that, guys, because there's a refrigerated door over there. Nothing back there. But part of this asylum has been um, updated and saved to make for a hotel which is pretty crazy, but look at this. I'll show you guys. We have to be super cautious. Security does hourly patrols. I haven't seen him yet today. I haven't been looking. We're trying to shoot as much as we can and get it as quickly, safely. So look at this. These cages on the door on the stairs, those are suicide cages and safety barriers so that patients can't jump or throw others down. So guys, this is the administrative part of the old asylum. That's active, that's a hotel. This part over here, that's active as well. Everything beyond the fence, that's abandoned. It will eventually get restored, but we just had to run out of there. Oh man. We were on like the second floor, actually the top floor. Top floor. And I was in one end, Dave is in the other. He hears a noise. He thinks it's me. Then he realizes I'm on the way on the other side. Somebody was dragging something. Someone was in there dragging something inside. No, no, like we're in another country. <laughs> we are trespassing our asses off. Not a good sign, so we got the hell out. Now we're gonna sit out front of this place, bask in all its glory, and be thankful that we made it out to Urbex another day.